when it was said he was the first urinal doctor, I thought, oh, surely not. Then I realised that that meant North East Arnhem Land. It's both exciting and scary. Um, so scary because being the first of anything is scary. Mung Nong Chai McGregor. Broadly speaking, I'm not the first Aboriginal doctor. So I do have some great mentors, particularly one in the paediatrics department who's Aboriginal. He moved away to Adelaide. Yes, it was very hard on him. He made that choice and he said, Mum, if this is a choice I have to take to get somewhere to do something and to come back and then share to the community and people, well, I will do it. My biggest goal is to do general paediatrics and child psychiatry. I think that this will be a great skill set for back home. Um, there's, there's a lot of kids that have traumas that they need support for. I guess being raised where he was with the health issues that are raised every day with the Indigenous people in the community, it sort of got to him and sort of touched him quite a bit. With him working in the hospital in Darwin and being able to talk to families and that, he'll be able to explain in first language. No, 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 no. Language and culture is a powerful thing. It makes a big difference because as soon as they hear that I'm young or that I can speak language, it's almost like a tension in the patient drops and they just relax and it's like, they're not actually at home, but they feel more at home. I saw him always as a special young kid. Could see that he had that drive and wanted to be more and to help out. He was always sort of standing out because his understanding of maths and sciences and that was way above the rest of the kids. What have you got there? Just some pics of the graduation. Oh, they're beautiful, JJ. That's a nice one with your mum too. Yeah. Yeah. I'm so proud of him, and just to see him become what he's become, I'm very proud mother. 